This is the STK500 board. The basic connection for this board is the power cable. You ha we have to connect the, the other end of the power cable to the 15 volt and uh, also the ground. The first common mistake that student may make is the serial port. So basically there are two serial ports, but this one near to the middle is the programming port. So when you want to download the program to the board, we use this port. And for this port at the side, it is used for the communication. When we want to do serial communication with the computer, and we need to connect the serial cable to this port to communicate with the hyperterminal or any other softwares that can be used to do the serial communication. Second part, which is very important, a lot of students make this mistake, is they forget to connect these two ports. And when you connect these two ports, you need to make sure that all the six pins has been correctly connected to this six socket. And, uh, and also, you need to make sure these two ports are connected in parallel, which means like you look at the, the right line on this side, it's correctly assigned with this red line on this side. So there's no twisting between the line. Another problem with this cable connection is some students may think, okay, they know that they need to connect this six pin cable, but unfortunately, they only connect halfway. We can see that there are three pins out, uh, hasn't been like inserted into the socket. So when you have the problem of, uh, when you're downloading program to this board and you have a problem, the first thing that you need to check is whether you connect all these six pins inside the socket or not. If, if not, you just make sure that you connect them correctly. Always remember there should be no pin leave out. For uh, some of the programs that, that we need to create the serial communication between the board and the computer. So we need to make sure this RXD and this TXD are connected with the PD0 and PD1 which means RXD is connected with PD0, TXD is connected with PD1. With that, we can use this two-pin cable. Say, for example, my yellow line is connected with RXD, so uh, at this end, the yellow line has to be make sure that it is connected with the, TX, uh, the PD0. So it is connected like this. Another problem with the uh keyboard with, uh, communicate with the SDK 500 board is the cable uh, and also how to, how to connect these pins to associate with the other pins. Let's take an example of uh, port A. These are all 10 pins socket and uh, what we do, we can see that in the uh, keyboard there is a 1 at this side and uh, with this board we can see also there is a 1 and 2 at this side. So well, to simply remember, we just uh, make sure this one and this one are, are, are aligned with each other. So for example, we connect this red line at this one side. And then we have to make sure there's no twisting between the line. And this one is also connected. So it's, it is also in parallel. So this is how to connect the keyboard with the uh, STK500 board. There is another board that we used to generate music. Uh, this board. Basically, we use these two pins. Um, you, we can see that there is a P, uh, pin A and pin D. So normally, um, when we use this board, we likely to connect this A to port A, and this D are normally used to port D. Also, the program is designed like in that way. So. Um, to communicate this is easy. We just make sure that this board, these two sides are put exactly the same like this and also connect them in parallel. Basically, you can see, just to make sure when you connect this, you put the board in the right position and connect the cable without twisting the cable.